found something arisen? You're looking rather lost. What do you want? I'm in no mood to have my ear talked off, thank you. My back's a fire. I can scarce talk for the pain. Leave an old man be. Mind, I wouldn't say no to some wild flowers if you happen to have any with you. A handful of those, and I could prepare a poultice that'd help me make it home. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. What is it now? Unless you brought me some wildflowers, I'd prefer to be left alone. Well, that was most kind of you. My thanks for the trouble. Right, here goes Nort. Relief at last. I was beginning to fear that I'd be stuck here for the rest of my days. I've a mind to thank you, sir. Would you look in on me at my home? I live nearby. There aren't too many houses out here, so you'll find it soon enough, I expect. Follow me. Good, we're here. Hi. Beg pardon, sir, but... Forgive me, dear. I forgot to tell you. I asked this good sir to look in on me. Oh, not this again. How many times have I begged you not to bring strangers into our home? I know, dear, but this one's a kindly sort. Brought me the wildflowers I needed to make it home when I threw out my back. It is always one reason or another, isn't it? And has it e'er ended well for us? Not once. But my words, no one wanders this far out unless they are running from something. This one's different, I promise you. You've heard tell of the Arisen, have you not? The hero who travels far and wide to track and fell the dragon. Oh? So this stranger claims to be the Arisen? <laughs> Believe what you will, but expect no hospitality from me. You may tend to our guest yourself. You will have to forgive my wife. She has her reasons for being mistrusting, but you deserve a warmer welcome than that. Now let me fetch your reward. Wait here a moment. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. I've done it in again. Goldstuffer, when will you learn to be more gentle with yourself? Oh, hold your tongue. All the gentleness in the world won't stop the earth from coming on when twill. It's only gotten worse of late. There's naught for it but to make for the curative spring. 
In your state, you'll never reach it. And that's to say nothing of the monsters that haunt the roads out there. They'll be on you in a moment if they see you limping along on your own. Oh, would that I could take you to the spring myself, but alas, I... Don't even think on it, my dear. I've not asked that of you, knowing how crowded places of that ilk make you feel. But what are we to do? I fear for you, my love. spring over on the island encampment would do my husband a world of good, but the way is treacherous for an injured man on his lonesome. Fear not. You'll have your reward. I just need to sit still a moment. You'd be willing to accompany me all that way? You see, my dear, what did I tell you? The Arisen's a goodly sort. I've an eye for people. Don't be a fool, Gaustaffa. You have barely spoken to this person. What if you were being deceived? Did you think of that? Come. Surely there are far more clever lies to tell if one's intent is to swindle. I'm not sure I can afford to refuse aid so freely given, my dear. So be it, then. Tis plain your mind's made up. We'd uh, best be along. <clears throat> My back isn't like to fix itself. Pray see my husband safely to the encampment. I shall await your return. This pure... Fancy a look at my wares? At last, I've never seen a more welcome sight. This spring here has been visited since time for Vell to its security properties. I only hope to be able to ease the ache in my back. I'll go have my soak now, if it is all the same to you. Can't have Cleona fretting over how long I've been gone. Twinges a bit. It would seem I owe you a debt of gratitude and an apology. True to your word, you have seen my husband safely to the spring. I was so afeared for his well being, I couldn't bring myself to sit at home, waiting, wondering. So I followed you at a distance, though now I see I needn't have. My husband and I are met with persecution. Everywhere we turn, you see. More than one village we thought to call home has driven us away. That is why we live in so far-flung a place. Gaustaffa can bear the judgment well enough, but I cannot. You, at least, have proven deserving of our trust. My husband was right about you. You are a kind soul, indeed. I shall not soon forget this good turn you've done my husband and I. You are welcome to visit us again, if your travels should happen to take you as far as our abode. I would fain lend you my skills as magic archer maester. And I'm certain my husband would be only too glad to take up his blacksmith's hammer for your sake. You earned a favor from the magic archer maester? With Short though our acquaintance may be, your kindness and sincerity have earned my respect. And so, to aid you in your duty, I would grant you this technique, my most guarded secret as maester of my art. Looking to churn it to overthink it, you can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose, and you might even make a new discovery.
Many thanks. You've chosen the path of the magic archer, then. A sensible choice. The Arisen will have need of capable comrades in the battles to come. We must rise to the challenge. the enemy gain the upper hand, the early griffin gets the worm, as they say. 